Hey, thanks for clicking on this video. This is gonna be wonderful. It's a beautiful day out and I have an open appointment book. So I thought let's just ride up to the mountains, take some photos of nature. Let's just see what's out there today. But before we go, we'll need some supplies. Hold on. Backpack, water, camera, tripod, quick snack, and egg. If you've never done any nature photography before, don't worry, it's actually really easy. In fact, I think I love nature photography because it's hard to do poorly. The nature does most of the work for you. The key to nature photography, in my opinion at least, is to always remember that nature's already flexing on us. I mean... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I need to zoom in for this one. Wow. I don't need to do all that much. In fact, I really just need to show my perspective of it all. It's kind of like pizza. Even a bad pizza is still good pizza. And there's no pressure either. There's no competition. There's no judges out here. It's just me and Mother Nature. Mama! And she's gonna love any photo that I take. She knows that every photo you take is a good photo, as long as you had fun while taking it. <laughs> Nature is always performing, so if you're running a little late, you can just catch the night show. And the price of admission for all of this is only zero dollars and zero cents, which I would gladly pay double that if I had to, but. Let's say you live in an area that doesn't have a whole lot of abundant nature options for you to take photos of. My suggestion, point your camera straight up to the clouds, baby. Mama is always creating a new painting for us right above our heads with clouds and light and colors, and it's different every single time. She's doing it just for us. She knows we want that sweet, sweet content. And so she's always in the kitchen, cooking something up, ready to drop something new for us every single day. I think that no matter how much experience you have in photo and video, everyone has their own shooting style. And I've been going through all the road trip footage that I have from when I traveled around the country with Alicia four years late, but, and going through all of the video clips is giving me a much better understanding of my preferred shooting style, which mainly is shoot towards the sun, I guess. Having the sun in frame has kind of heightened my awareness of the fact that we live on a freaking planet, you know? It's putting everything, it's putting the whole world in frame. Yeah, this is Denver, 
but also that is a gigantic ball of hot plasma that is almost a million miles wide. <laughs> it's right there. And here's you. Like you're really out there living on top of a planet, being warmed by a star in outer space every day. And that's wild, man. Good for you, for real. Actually, I wanna show you something. I'll show you what makes me happy. This one's hugging the tree. Really? Yeah. When I connect with the earth, she's charging me. She's filling me with all this energy. <laughs> that's awesome. I just wanted to ask one more thing. If you were to say one thing to the world, what would it be? I love you. <laughs> I think I found my new role model. Seriously, anyone that is this happy deserves my full undivided attention. She says that the ground gives us energy. Maybe if I put my hand on the ground. All right, let's see how we did. I took 56 photos and I will probably only post four or five of them, but I also made this video and we did get a little sidetracked by going to the outer limits of the universe and we made some new friends along the way. So I would consider this hike a success. Wait, where's the egg? <laughs>